Fala galera, fala batera, mais um conversando aqui. Dessa vez eu me sinto honrado em ter a presença de um americano aqui no nosso meio, Evan Stick Smith. Man, thank you so much, it's an honor for me. É, e se você não conhece ele ainda, você vai conhecer hoje, beleza? Ele estava aqui no Dream Collection, aqui no Rio de Janeiro. Você vai ter uns eventos, uns vídeos bem legais no, no YouTube a respeito desse evento. E depois eu vou falar mais um pouco disso, beleza? was your first contact with music and why did you choose to study drums instead of any other instruments like guitar or bass? Um, <clears throat> I actually didn't choose drums. Um, drums chose me. Um, I started playing at a very early age, the age of two. Um, so I feel like when you start that early, you don't choose to play. It's just kind of something that just naturally kind of happens. And God um, God set me apart. Um, I was considered a prodigy when I was younger. Um, so, I don't know, that's just how it started. It all started just when I was young, with pots and pans. My parents gave me drumsticks and I would just, you know, play on pots and pans as a little kid until I was old enough to, to get a drum set. So. I honestly say that um, the life of drums chose me instead of me choosing an instrument. So, yes. And who are your, your teachers? Um, I don't, I don't really have any teachers. Um, I have some influences. Um, my favorite drummer of all time is, is Thomas Pridgen, um, and some guys that are my age that influenced me are um, Clemens Poindexter, um, Devin Taylor, Tony Taylor, uh, Mike Mitchell. Um, those type of guys keep me on my toes um, as far as learning and staying current. You know, so um, the only type of teaching that I did have was when I was like eight to learn how to read music. Um, that was pretty much it. And then I had a, a private instructor when I went to Berkeley College of Music. Um, his name was Marco Georgievic. Um, he was a great teacher, great jazz drummer. Um, but those are really the only teachers that I really had as far as drumming. Yes. And Brazilian drummers. Brazilian drummers. Um, goodness gracious. Really, honestly, I I just met all these guys when I came down here. Um, there's a lot of talented drummers here. Um, I love the culture here. I love how everyone that is a musician comes together and is there's no egos, there's no no one that's arrogant or feel like that they're better than another person. Everybody just comes together and shares their gift and learn from one another and that's how it should be. So I really I really appreciate that about Brazilian drummers. That's one thing that I've learned and that I'm gonna take back with me is to embrace my culture more. This is your first time in Brazil, right? Yes. Brazil is beautiful. I love I love Brazil. Everything about it, um, from how it looks to the people, how the people treat me. Um, I've never I've never been shown so much love in one area before at all. And it's overwhelming. I even talked about it on my Facebook about how much it was how amazing it was and how perfect this trip was to come down here because because it was the first time me coming down here, I was kind of nervous um, because I didn't know how people would take me or I didn't know how to respond to people at first, but I instantly felt comfortable, like everybody's my family. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's like everybody's my family, so, yes. And which are the techniques you use the most or you prefer to use the most? Um, 
Uh, I like, uh, I guess, if we, we want to talk about technique, uh, on drums, I like to use match grip on drums. Sometimes if I'm playing jazz, I use traditional, um, but most mostly I use uh, match grip um, because it gives me uh, more power, at least for me. Um, uh, technique, uh, as far as my posture, my posture is usually, um, I sit like on the edge of the seat. I have my, uh, I try not to slouch because if you slouch, um, you lose power and energy. So I try to keep an upright position um, when I play. Um, my favorite rudiments that I use, I use paradiddle diddles a whole lot um, and a lot of doubles. Um, that's, that's pretty much the rudiments that I use um, mainly. Um, I really don't use anything else, honestly. I may use some other things here and there, like a five or six stroke roll or something like that, but um, paradiddle diddles are my favorite and double stroke rolls. So, and, and, and regular paradiddles, so. Yes, just a moment, I, I have a gift for you. And I will, just a moment. Okay. A shirt of our channel. Oh man. That's for you. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, you so like much. It? Yes, I love this. Yes. So, please, uh, send your greetings to your, uh, your fans and our YouTube channel, OJS. Hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Sticksmith, and I'm with. Uh, what is this? Drum Zone. Oh, you said Drum Zone? Yes, Zona da Batera. Oh, Portuguese. okay. That's, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm with Drum Zone. Yes. Thank you to everyone, all my Brazil, my all my Brazil family, friends, and and fans. Thank you so much for all the hospitality, all the love that I've been receiving since I've been here, and I cannot wait to come again. So please check out Drum Zone. Subscribe. Subscribe to them. There's going to be amazing videos, a lot of videos. Um, and a lot of inspiration, a lot of teachings, a lot of interviews. Go to that channel and please subscribe. Please. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, bro. Oh, oh, man. Thanks a lot for me. É, se você gostou então desse vídeo, clique em gostei. Se inscreva no canal se você não for inscrito e não conhecer esse trabalho. Eu queria aproveitar para agradecer mais uma vez o Bruno Coutinho, que ele está aqui, só que eu vou falar aqui no vídeo porque ele vai estar assistindo o vídeo. Então eu queria agradecer mais uma vez o Bruno Coutinho pela oportunidade de estar gravando aqui com o Hermes Chips. Queria agradecer também ao Gil Moore e também ao Nicolas Espinosa, meu amigo da Argentina, que me ensinou algumas coisas de inglês já faz um tempo para eu conseguir desenrolar algumas coisas. Ainda estou aprendendo. Mas eu queria agradecer de coração a todas as pessoas que me deram apoio. O pessoal que está aqui na câmera, está aqui o o meu amigo Samuca Barbosa do canal Chopeano vai estar relacionado aqui no vídeo. Também o Vini Guimarães está me ajudando com, com a edição aqui, com toda a produção. E toda a galera do grupo Sol Humildes. Um abraço para a galera do Sol Humildes que me abraçou, que estão aí junto. Então fica mais um pouco aí do vídeo do resto dele tocando, que vale a pena, beleza? Valeu, obrigado. Uh! É.